now uh, it's me i'm back you know who you're watching right hopefully well it's danny danny danielle whichever one you want to call me as long as it's not a bad name i will usually answer to most mom you know hey you sometimes i've even done that but anyway now that i have my mason jar and my shaker lid made i'm going to make some diy carpet brush for skies floor um the recipe i called i found on pinterest because pinterest is my friend Called for one and a half cups of baking soda. It's a very simple recipe, which is why I'm going with it. There's a half a cup. I may not do as much. I really don't want to have to vacuum all of this out of her carpet. I think I'll do just a cup. I think it's a little over a cup. And it called for a cup and a half, and then it called for 10 drops of essential oil. I'm still going to go ahead and do the 10 drops, just because I do want the scent to be strong. I want it to remove the scent from the carpet. And I'm using Purification from Young Living. I'm not a spokesperson for them. A friend of mine sells it. I really like it. It smells really good, and it does help with odors. So... And a couple extra drops. My bottle's almost empty. I gotta be careful though. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this a list. Mix it all in together. I'm sorry. My baby's home. I'm recording. Okay, so I'm trying to set them late because you're just squirrel out there and do it. Okay. You'll be back. Like her mama when it comes to animals. We don't like it when people get hurt, but, but it's worse when an animal gets hurt. She just has one of those sensitive hearts that she would take in every animal if I let her. That she could find in the entire apartment complex and the entire town if I would let her. I still remember when she was little. I want to mix this up a little bit, so I'll talk about I'm doing it. Got to keep you entertained, right? She was little. I want to say she was probably in kindergarten. And I was taking her to school. And we lived out in the country kind of area. It was like nine miles or something to school. And she had, I, I'm assuming she had missed the bus, and that was why I was driving her. Because um, they did bus in Indiana, where we were at. And, uh... We're just coming into town and we pass the vet's office and she is just instantly pissed off. There, there is no, just mad. She was instantly picked off. And I was like, what in the world? And I was like, Sky, what is the matter? And she's like, mom, it's just not fair. I'm, I'm like, okay, first of all, it is like seven o'clock in the morning. You're gonna have to be quite specific on what is not fair. And uh, she told me it was not fair that those people had a farm, and she did not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Hey, baby. Stop trying to bite me. Apparently, this is the squirrel sky saved. It's yeah, saving. It. No, we cannot, because those disastrous children over there who are playing in your disaster of a bedroom out here in the living room would do harm. Okay. How did in the world did you catch it? It's it's, it's injured, so it was surely going in circles, and I just put the towel over and grabbed it. Okay. See? Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Just yeah, take it outside, please. All right. Don't mind the mess. Like I said, we're still working on her room. That's what this is for. Anyway, she was mad because she thought that it was a farm we were passing, and they had a bunch of... What's the matter with that? Uh, I don't know, <laughs> but it was trailing around in circles. Yeah, just be careful. You don't know what it ha if it has any diseases. I don't know how she catches these things. She actually caught a baby chipmunk when she was little too. Anyway, I mean, caught it by running after it in the yard and picked it up. Yeah, I have pictures somewhere, but on Facebook, I think. But anyway, 
Yeah, she was mad because she thought that they had a farm and all of these animals, and she just did not think that it was fair that they got to have a farm and all of these animals, and she didn't. Yeah, that's that's my kid for you. But yeah, she loves animals, and apparently she just rescued a squirrel. I wouldn't have believed her if she hadn't brought the squirrel in, and I think she knew that. That's why she brought the squirrel in. But anyway... All right, that's done. I'm gonna put it in my, I'm gonna try not to make a mess while putting it in there. And I'm gonna go sprinkle it on her carpet. And hopefully we can start putting her room back together. Cause I do mean everything is out of her room and in the living room, her dressers, all of her clothes, all of her toys. Let's just say it is an obstacle course. But again, gotta have a gotta have a clean room to be in there. She'd been sleeping on the couch, so don't nobody worry and think she was under laying in that. She wasn't. She was sleeping out on the couch, and uh, we were trying to barricade off her room as best as possible and trying to get the get the carpets cleaned. But without a door, it was damn near impossible to keep the animals out of there. Now they are not allowed in there. So hopefully, this will never ever ever be an issue again. you have it some DIY carpet brush two ingredients any scent you like and or want um, pretty quick too I mean I, I think we've been on here less than five or six minutes I think it was four minutes last I looked oh less than seven minutes and that was seeing her injured squirrel and me chatting so there you have it hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in the next video do this with one hand you can see how fine it's coming out of the shaker so if you want it to come out faster or heavier you just need to adjust the size of your holes so there you have it again because we made this jar ourselves <laughs>